Hi, Eric. Thanks for the update. The reason I was asking that question is because you, the multi-site license, you can use that as many times as you want, but there's two versions. So there's a developer's license and a multi-site. The developer's gives you different, all the different colors as well. Uh, so what I did is I actually upgraded your uh, blue-black to red-black. Okay, so now you can go to your download page and grab a copy of the red black because you only had the multi-site, you didn't have the developer. So long story short, I've updated that. Go download a copy of the red black. Okay, then what I'm going to ask you to do to get the colors updated is go find your website folder for your existing site. Right, open that up in Windows Explorer. Then extract the copy that you've downloaded. Open that up get into the website as well. Now I am assuming that you probably haven't done a lot of changes within the site folder of your site. Um, if you've made any changes to the themed images in the backgrounds or the placeholders, uh, then what you could do is just go in and grab the styles and the graphics folder and move it from within the, the site to the site. But the, the quick and easy update for doing a color change like this, just grab the site folder from your, your uh, your new red black and copy that into the blue black that you have already like so or sorry don't copy it into the site folder copy it into the root folder to overwrite the existing files and there you go all the graphics and all the style sheets have been moved over and now you have a red black uh, to update the component that uh, that carousel uh, what we're talking about right here Go into your uh, site, styles, components, components.css, open that up, and go down to line 599, and there's the color right there. It would, it's originally uh, white, so you can change that to whatever. I'm going to suggest maybe black, 00000060, and that'll darken it up for you.